What does she do? Look, try it on me. Try it on like me. It's like this little machine, and I told you, it's just like. Oh, that's lame. <laughs> kind of feels good though. <laughs> I don't know. Your mic is in not a very good spot. Your mic is in a terrible spot. Your beard is touching yeah, it. Yeah, you got like one, your longest hairs. Are your like long, your straggler. Are tickling your mic. Yours is like pointed at me. Hey guys, Hold I'm, on. oh my gosh. You really have a crusty in your eye. <laughs> it's right there on that side. Take hey guys, two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Jameson, and this is Jamie, and this is our weekly wrap-up number 27. Sounds good. I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> anyway, we, uh, since our last weekly update, um, we've gotten a lot done. Well, no, not, not, <laughs> not we. Answers. Yeah, you can come get the paint. Can you do the back paint? <laughs> so... Since our last update, we actually headed out of town for a week, but a lot of stuff happened at the house. That's correct. We went to Florida. Yeah, um, we did a little early spring break with the kids, did the whole Disney thing and the beach thing, and it was a nice break that I think we both needed to get away from the house and stop thinking about it for a week. It was kind of nice. Which, I don't know if we really stopped thinking well, about no, it. Well, no, we didn't stop thinking about it because there was so much happening at the house you could not think was. about it. Um, but yeah, we had a good time. Uh, Disney is extremely expensive, if you're not aware of that. Um, <laughs> but we made it back, and, and when we got back, there, like Jamie said, there was a lot done. But before we left... We had to get our, a lot done in order to get a lot done while we were gone. We had our insulators out there, and they were spray foaming the house. We went with open cell foam all on all the walls, and they have to, they actually had to wait to come back to spray the ceiling. Mm -hmm. But um, th it was just a really neat process to see how it went on. They would spray every other cavity and then come back with this uh, tool that's basically like a samurai sword attached to a reciprocating saw. I knew you liked that the first time you said it, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they would um, they would come they would spray every other cavity come back and then they would cut it, cut it off flush with the studs and then they would spray the the cavities in between and do the same thing. What are you laughing at? <laughs> just when you say samurai sword, that's just funny. Yeah, I picture like a ninja coming. <laughs> All right, so they got all the spray foam insulation done upstairs. <laughs> Sorry. My God. My eye. So we got all of the spray foam done in the walls of the house and the walls of the garage. Yeah. Um, so once all that was done, then we had to, before, we didn't do a hot roof. We're going to do a cold roof. That basically means uh, a hot roof is when you spray the ceiling or the, the back of the roof. And a cold roof is when you insulate the top of the ceiling. But since we don't have any ducting up there, we opted to go with the cold roof mm -hmm. because there's no sense in conditioning that extra space. Um, so we had to hang the drywall before they could come back and spray the ceiling. So we also got, as they were finishing up the insulation, we got our inspections before we left so that the, the drywall, which also got delivered that day, um, could, get, could start to get hung. So... The day that we left, they finished insulation, we got our inspection, delivered drywall, and then the following day, they started hanging drywall. Yeah, you lost me in that process. <laughs> well, <laughs> Just don't... the nice thing was that by the time we got back, there's nothing for us to do while they're hanging the drywall. So by the time we got back, all the drywall was hung mm -hmm. and uh, ready to go. Yeah. So we got the drywall hung, and then a couple days after we got back, they came back and then they sprayed the... Uh, the ceiling so now the house is completely insulated and it's holding heat like none other well, so we've got like a, we've got the one fact of those that we don't have a front door yeah and, but we blocked it off we yeah. blocked those off but nevertheless we've got like this big val 6 heater in there um, and it is it takes hardly anything to heat yeah the house. so it's like been on and it's been on low and it's not super warm out right now but it's been on low, and the cool thing about that heater is it kind of just it cuts itself it's off. It's got a built-in thermostat, so you can kind of set it at what, not, it doesn't have a temperature, but it's like one through five, how hot you want the house. Mm -hmm. And um, as it reaches a temperature, it cuts off, which is nice to conserve fuel and all that, and not mm -hmm. get too hot. 
So we've, now that we're drywalling the house, we need to leave that on overnight so that the mud and everything doesn't see any drastic temperature changes and doesn't, definitely doesn't get down below freezing. Drastic temperature changes in yeah. April. It's yeah. such a shame. It's kind of hard to um, dodge those. But nevertheless, we got all the drywall hung. We also did the retaining walls out back. Mm -hmm. They started those. <coughs> Wow, are you okay? Oh. They started so. those before we left. They came and put the forms up. Um, it's under the deck. Yeah. So under one of our back decks, Jamie wanted to kind of make this space more well, like a little I didn't want almost. to. We had to put a retaining wall oh. in because the way the house sits, there's like this big hill. We <coughs> had to have a retaining wall. So when we were talking to our excavator, we kind of came up with a cool solution to make the retaining wall. <coughs> like a functioning room-ish. Like yeah. now we have like a little cave thing. Yeah. We're putting a fireplace out there so it's gonna be like just a cool, like nice little spot to come hang out. Just another entertaining space. Yeah. So they, um, we had a temporary post in for the deck. They had to take their... Uh, Bobcat, I call it, but you're gonna yell at me for saying <clears> that. Bobcat's kinda like, it's kinda like calling it a I, tissue a Kleenex. Everybody calls it a Kleenex. Who calls it a tissue? I call it a tissue. But you're an idiot. It's a Kleenex. <laughs> anyway, going. they took their skid steer and they lifted it up, lift up the beam, um, took out the temporary post. Once they had dug out behind it, we had we left some length on the beam so that they could set the post out further. They came back, uh, dug out, poured the footings, mm -hmm. um, and then they set the forms on top. We laid I laid a piece of conduit into the footing so it's underneath the wall. Um, so that we can run gas line through that for the fireplace. Um, and then they set the forms in place and poured the retaining wall. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool. So he had them drop down um, the retaining wall on one side. It kind of steps down. So it's like at bar height. So we could end up putting like a little, you know, table thing. A little countertop So you can drink area. your wine at a little bar by the fire outside at night. Yeah. It's going to be nice. It will be nice. I'm excited about that area. So they got that done. We also had them set a um, like a strong tie bracket into the top of the retaining wall so that when they... My beard hair was caught in the... Ew, gosh. Thing. It was like pulling on it. Seriously. Anyway, they set the bracket into the top of the retaining wall so then they could take the post and cut off just what they need, set that post onto the top of the retaining wall and connect it in to hold the beam of the deck. Since it's a 10-inch concrete retaining wall, it's Perfect for that. I feel like now I'm eyeing your beard. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for it to get caught in there. It's like it's Stop. It got caught. <laughs> okay, guys. I think that is all that we have as far as a weekly wrap-up. And until next time. Be safe and happy building. We'll see you all later.